Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and this series on marriage, sparking romance, and building a better connection, a better bond with your spouse. Before we get started into tip number two, I wanted to put a little disclaimer in here to say that Ben and I, well, I think we have a good thing going, do not have a perfect marriage. So this series is not coming out of a place of I'm an expert in this area and let me share with you my expertise or that I have arrived. Quite the opposite. It's coming from a place that I really need to improve in this area. I'm researching it and I want to share with you what I found and hope that we can kind of learn together on being intentional with our marriages. So now that we're on the same page about that, let's get into tip number two. So recently, as I was thinking about being intentional with my husband and just being a better wife in general, I actually asked my husband what he thought were some areas that I can improve on, like is there anything that I did that annoyed him or that he didn't like, or are there some things that he wished I'd do? And he had a really peculiar look on his face and he actually got really quiet, almost like, is this a setup, you know? <laughs> I was like, I, I genuinely wanted to know, like what can I get better at? Because I'm one of those people that likes to improve, I like to get better, I like to have feedback. Um, so that was what I was trying to do with him on this. And he did not say a word. All he said was he did not want to go there, that's not really what he thought would be helpful for us. And so I knew that his silence then was not because he couldn't think of anything, but because he really did not want to travel down that path. So I, I was cool with that, but I thought it was interesting. And that leads me to share with you what research has shown about this very, very thing. So studies have shown that couples who focus on the positives with their spouse versus trying to pinpoint areas where they can improve or share with them things that they wish they did or things like that, which we think might be helpful. It's better to kind of even ignore those things and think about the things that our spouses do well and try to just build upon that and even improve those good things. So to illustrate what this actually looks like, I wanna share with you a humorous story from a colleague and friend of mine. So when she was first married with her husband, who is significantly taller than she is, he used to do this one thing that got under her skin. So when he went into the shower, he would adjust the shower head to the height that he liked. But what happened was when she would get into the shower after him, it would like spray right in her face. So she brought it up with him like, hey, is it really so hard just to lower the shower head? Every time I get in, I get sprayed in the face. So after talking with him and talking with him, he didn't change, like he would never change that habit. And he's not a bad guy at all, he's a great husband. There was just this thing that he did, this habit that he couldn't seem to shake. So she thought to herself, okay, I can continue to be mad about this, I can, I can continue to be upset, I can nag him, we can fight about it, or I can let crazy be crazy, not let it bother me, I can adjust that shower head myself and I'll just focus on positive, the positives with my spouse. I thought that was such good sound advice because there are things when you live with anybody that I'm sure that they do that you just like wish they didn't. <laughs> and we can dwell on that and let that just irritate us to the point where it just snowballs and become a big issue for us or we can let crazy be crazy and focus on the positives. So this insight was an eye opener for me and it reminded me of something a friend had given me. So after I was newly married, I received this in the mail and I thought, hey, what a cute journal. But on the inside, there was a note that explained what this was meant for. So it says, one of the most precious wedding gifts I received was a journal to record all of the things my husband did right and well. There may be times when you need that gentle reminder of how wonderful your man is. I hope this journal will capture those blessings and memories for many happy years to come. Enjoy God's good gift. So soon after I got this journal, I sat down with it and I tried to think of every single thing that Ben did right and well. The things that blessed me, the things that encouraged me, uh, the things that made me feel special. And I recorded it all down as much as I could remember. And then after that, I would record things as they happened, of things that he did right and well. And it's amazing how filling out this journal with those things helped me to have more of a grateful and thankful attitude with my husband and helped me to dwell on his good things and to um, recognize them 
And even looking back on this journal, there's so much that he's done that I've forgotten about. I'm like, oh my goodness, he did that? Oh, oh now I remember. And it just starts to stir up those romantic feelings that I have for him. It also just makes me all around more grateful and a little more blind to maybe little habits like adjusting the shower head the, <laughs> the way I don't like it or something like that. So friends, I think this is a really neat way to help you focus on the positives and to minimize the negatives or to dwell on things like maybe you wish you'd do or wouldn't do. So I would encourage you maybe to grab an old journal and designate it to filling it in with things that your husband does right or well and see what that does for your attitude toward him and also your overall happiness in the relationship and see if you don't feel a lot more romantic toward him as well. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.